Hi, it's Luna here in the Transition Kitchen, and I just wanted to come to you real quick about some citrus that I purchased. So I, I went to my local store, and they have a reduced section of fruits, and I got this bag of uh, mandarins or clementines or, you know, whatever you want to call them, you know, the little ones, and they do have seeds in them. Um, don't sleep on this. It, it might not look really good, but it might be great for juicing. Now, see, I, it had some in it that looked like this right here. And so just make sure you inspect the bag before you get it. But I'm going to use these and this and I peel some and this is what they look like. They're going to be great for juicing. Um, what I'm going to do is juice them by themselves to make sure the flavor is what I want the flavor to be before I mix it with something else. What I'm gonna mix it with is gonna be um, blood orange. And this is the blood orange. This is what the blood orange looks like. This is what the blood orange looks like after it's peeled. And I wrote some notes here. The blood orange is high in fiber, vitamins and minerals. Of course, it's, it's um, citrus, so it's gonna be high in vitamin C and it improves uh, your gut health because it's high in fiber. Now this blood orange is sweet. It's like a regular sweet orange, but it also tastes like a grapefruit. And then at that aftertaste, you get a little maybe cherry kind of flavor. So I really like these. And something that, that matches that is gonna be this one. And this one is a raspberry orange. So here's the pack. I got these from Kroger, a raspberry orange. And this is what it looks like when it's peeled. And this one is uh, sweet. It's like a sweet orange with a raspberry flavor. Now you can see that these two are similar in color, but one is smaller than the other one. But then when you look at them this way, the raspberry orange isn't as deep in color as the blood orange. Also, I have here um, the bitter orange, or it's also known as the sour orange in here. I've, and this one is gonna be white inside. It doesn't have color. And here's what it looks like. And it is, um, it says that it's using Chinese medicine for indigestion, nausea, and constipation. And it's bitter because it's high in acid um, content. And it is really bitter. It's almost like having a lemon. So I can imagine doing a bitter orange and um, a pineapple together to balance out that sweet and sour uh, that sweet and sour flavor will balance out or it, it will probably make a great lemonade. Um, and I'm sure that pairing all of these citruses together would make a great juice also. What I do want to remind you of is when you buy your citrus, now I'm, I'm not going to, I peeled one, you know, so that you guys could see it. But what I'm going to do is take my zester my zester. Let's see, where's my zester? Okay, here we go. I'm going to take my zester. This is my used to get the zest off lemons or any citrus. So I'm going to use this to, if you can see me do this. And it has, all right, you see the zest? That's the zest from the orange. I'm going to zest them and keep this zest. I can use this zest for uh, recipes of salad dressings or um, if say if I wanted to make some muffins with the orange flavor, um, I could use this zest to give it the flavor that I want it to have. So when you buy your citrus, zest them, let it dry, put it in a baggie 
and stick it in your freezer. Label it so you know what it came from. If it was if it was sour or bitter um, orange, if it was blood orange, if it was raspberry orange, if it was lemon, if it was lime, if it was tangerine or tangelo or pomelo, put a put a label on it so you know exactly where it came from. Now I also um, have here a uh, sweet lime, uh, what, what's called the sweet lemon, and in I know it from my Persian friends that call it that call it a sweet lime. It's a Pers or a Persian lime, um, and it's really good. So it's not going to taste like. Let me pull this one out. This is regular lemon. So this sweet lemon is not going to taste like this regular lemon. It has a sweet flavor to it. These are good for teas. I love a good sweet lemon tea so you you know hot your water and put your uh juice in there and then you take your and take your zester and zest it and put some of that lemon zest in there and let it sit or just cut a piece off and let those oils come out of the skin of the fruit and you have a great tea um, that's all I can think of to give you about the citrus, but don't sleep on reduced fruits. Even if it's apples, check out the apples. Those apples might have some bruises on them. Cut the peel off the apples. If I got an ugly apple over here like this, you might see this in a bag in the grocery store. Cut the peel off make applesauce the kids will love it do not waste um any don't, don't waste any food you know if you don't have to um don't be afraid to buy fruits and vegetables that looks like they're in distress i also got some pomegranates that were in distress where's that bag let me show you the bag because those bags were 99 cents So I got two large uh, pomegranates per bag, and they were a dollar, a dollar each. So I'm gonna put those through the through the juicer. So that might not be uh, fresh enough that I want to actually eat it, but you can always juice it, pair it with something else, and get a wonderful juice. All right, that's it from the Transition Kitchen. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll come back to you with some juice real soon. Bye.